everyone and welcome. I'd like to start uh, by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land we're gathered on and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders that are here today and pay my respects and acknowledge the ongoing contribution that their culture makes to the vibrancy of the city. So I'm Ross Triffitt, I'm the Executive Branch Manager of Events ACT and I'm very pleased to welcome you here today. It's very exciting for us and I can speak on behalf of Events ACT that you know everyone is ecstatic to be back uh, here in Commonwealth Park and delivering Floriade in its full entirety. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to introduce the Chief Minister to say a few words. Thank you very much, Ross. Good afternoon, everyone. I begin with acknowledgement of the traditional custodians of the land in which we meet and to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. And uh, to warmly welcome everyone back to Floria. After a number of COVID interrupted years where we planted bowls, but we weren't able to stage uh, a mass event that more than half a million people would attend. It is great to be here for Floriade 35, uh, an event that epitomises spring in the national capital and is Australia's premier springtime celebration. It's wonderful to be here in the Synergy Pavilion. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, our presenting partner for Floriade, the Synergy Group. And as you can see, uh, around Commonwealth Park, one day ahead of the formal opening of the 2022 event. Uh, a, lot, a lot of work and effort has gone into uh, presenting a really exceptional Floriad. Noting that there's going to be a lot of pent up demand. There's a lot of people who were very disappointed uh, at not being able to attend events in 2020 and 2021. So the government has recognised the need to make this uh, a special occasion, a comeback if you like, uh, for Floriad. 2022. It's an event that splits its attendance roughly 50-50 between people from the Canberra region uh, and interstate and international tourists. More than half a million people are expected to attend uh, over the duration of the event. Its economic contribution prior to COVID uh, was heading up towards $45 million annually. Uh, and we, we would hope that with a bit of pent up demand, we might smash all previous attendance records uh, and achieve an even greater economic contribution for the ACT economy. It of course comes uh, at a time that we are seeking to rebuild our tourism and hospitality sectors after a very challenging uh, COVID impacted period. But there's a great sense of optimism. Uh, with what we've seen already over the winter period, the recent news from the World Health Organization uh, that at a global level they're, they're optimistic that uh, the pandemic is over. You see there's still some risk and concern about, uh, about what might happen over the summer period. But for the next month, I think we can all rest easy in relation uh, to what will be happening here at Commonwealth Park. So it is an open invitation to Canberrans, to their visiting friends and relatives, to our interstate and international visitors, to come down to Commonwealth Park, to enjoy all that this event has to offer, and to enjoy spring. There's always a sense in Canberra at this time of year that, you know, is the turn of the season really here, or is this just the, the first of the fake springs? There'll be a day or two when, when the weather isn't so good and the microphones don't work as well. But we are looking forward to a, a very successful event and I do want to take the opportunity uh, today to thank the team at Events ACT, our promotional partners in Visit Canberra uh, and the various media outlets that uh, have worked with us for many years to welcome back all of the long-term sponsors of Floria, to welcome our new partners, but most importantly, to welcome Canberra back to its premier springtime event. I hope you have a wonderful Floriade uh, and enjoy our hospitality today at the Sneak Preview. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Minister. 
Uh, now I'll invite Tim Howard, uh, the head gardener of Florida, to come and say a few words. Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, this is my first year as Floria Head Gardener and I'm so excited to see how the park is looking today. Um, we've had a very large team work very hard on this year's show. Um, it takes 18 months from design to what you see today in the park and uh, it's been a, a real test all the way through. Um, I'd just like to thank uh, Oasis Nursery and Brosons Bulbs for all the plant stock that we see out here out in the park. Um, the invaluable work Yarra Lama Nursery do, counting every last bulb by hand. And uh, my team of uh, 60 horticulturists and landscapers and apprentices who have been here uh, during the construction of, of the park and, uh, and for how it's presenting today. Uh, I look forward to taking you all around the park today and showing you all of our fabulous work. The, the formal activities. We'll get started on the, um, the interviews and the garden tour in a moment. We're just going to do a quick photo op. Okay. Three handsome roosters. <laughs> Won't be long enough to do everything. You'll just have to come back and see the rest. <laughs> 